Neurology quiz number 45. What is the landau kleffner syndrome? It is a rare disorder of childhood characterized by loss of language comprehension or auditory verbal agnosia and verbal expression, aphasia, in association with severely abnormal EEG during sleep as well as clinical seizures. Other names for the condition include epileptiform aphasia and acquired aphasia with convulsive disorder. Age of onset ranges from 2 to 11 years with 75% of cases beginning between 3 to 7 years of age. Slow or sudden loss of the ability to understand speech or familiar sounds is typically seen in a child who has been developing normally. Children can seem to be deaf because of inability to understand spoken language, but deaths of hearing are normal. This is followed by impairment of verbal expression and the child may stop talking. Seizures occur in 75% of patients. These can be focal, generalized tonic, clonic or myoclonic. Atypical absence is sometimes the initial feature and is associated with continuous spike in slow waves during slow wave sleep. 50% of children show behavioral and personality changes, including hyperactivity, attention deficit, anxiety and aggression, and hypersensitivity to sound. Neurological examination is usually within normal. The cause is not known, a genetic mutation. GRIN2A has been reported in up to 15% of individuals with landau kleffner syndrome. This gene provides instructions for a protein which is found in neurons in the brain and spinal cord, including areas involved with memory and learning. However, the cause remains unknown in the majority of patients. EEG during wakefulness and sleep is fundamental for diagnosis. The EEG shows unilateral or bilateral multifocal spike discharges, most pronounced over posterior temporal and parietal regions. This EEG activity becomes much more widespread intense and intense during sleep, that is non-REM sleep, when it becomes characterized by an almost continuous spike wave pattern with a frequency of 1.5 to 2.5 Hertz. Electrical status epilepticus in sleep can be seen. MRI imaging of the brain is usually within normal. Treatment. Standard anticonvulsants such as valproate, levetiracetam and clobazam usually control seizures but do not improve speech. Corticosteroid therapy early in the disease may normalize the EEG and provide long-lasting remission of aphasia and seizures. Intravenous immunoglobulin may also be effective. In cases resistant to medication, surgical treatment with multiple subpile resections has been advocated. Speech therapy should be instituted. Children may need to see a child psychologist or a neuropsychologist and psychiatrist to treat symptoms of ADHD, anxiety or aggression. Differential diagnosis. A closely related condition is epileptic encephalopathy with continuous spike and wave during sleep. EEG abnormalities are similar and electrical status epilepticus in sleep is frequent. A large proportion of these patients have, a pre, have pre existing neurological abnormalities and cognitive abnormalities are more likely to be global and associated with motor impairment. Other differential diagnoses include hearing loss, autism spectrum disorder, and Rett syndrome. Prognosis. The seizures will resolve in most cases. After age 10, only 10 to 20% of children with LKS will have seizures. Prognosis for recovery of language is poor if LKS starts early in life or is of prolonged duration. In such cases, up to 80% of children are left with permanent language difficulty, which can be severe. This is an EEG from a patient with LKS, which on the left shows normal background while awake and continuous spike and wave activity during deep sleep on the right.